Chair recognizes Ranking Member Bush for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. St. Louis and I are here today to talk about the impact that fossil fuels have on our community. Let me start by telling you what, what energy security looks like in my community. In my community, energy security looks like having the lights on. It looks like families being able to stay warm. It looks like children walking to school without contracting uh, asthma from local air pollution. It looks like children being able to depend on stable internet to do their homework. Energy security looks like this and so much more. And to my Republican colleagues here today, I want you to know that this is what energy security looks like in your communities as well. Energy security is about dramatically reducing our reliance on fossil fuels whose consumption disproportionately harms low-income families and communities of color. It is our communities that suffer the most from instability in the energy market. Studies have repeatedly shown that black and brown communities pay a significantly higher share of our income in energy costs. We are also more likely to live in communities where fossil fuels are extracted, where they are burned, and in places where the climate crisis is causing dangerous floods, hurricanes, and wildfires. Mr. Drummer, can you tell us more about how the $2 price jump in gas following Putin's invasion of Ukraine exacerbated the disparities in energy burdens for black and brown and low-income families? Absolutely, thank you, uh, Representative uh, Bush. Uh, we know uh, that particularly in the uh, larger metropolitan areas, uh, the lowest earners live the furthest away uh, from the jobs. So what does that mean? Those who make the least had to gas up and pay a very high percentage of their uh, income just to get to work. And so when we talk about energy security, we know in 2020 and when everybody was at home, uh, fossil fuel prices, particularly oil prices, Went, through the, went down into the basement. They were in the gutter. What did that do? It put a lot of fossil fuel workers out of work. So Vladimir Putin put fossil fuel workers in the US out of work. And Vladimir Putin made it unaffordable to get to and from work in 2022. And so we cannot drill our way out of this situation. So it's hitting folks' pocketbooks uh, and that uh, release was absolutely necessary. So you describe that the price increases had a disproportionate effect on black, brown, and low-income communities, uh, families. How did the administration's actions and the, insuring, the ensuing uh, drop in gas prices, how did it help those same families? And while there are a number of factors that affect the price of oil, in an interview uh, with Oxford, I believe, uh, Dr. B did concede that uh, the strategic use of uh, SPR did have an impact. Uh, it's hard to quantify and hard to tell, but it definitely had an impact in the price of oil. Okay. We need to focus on making more public investments to lower our energy demand by taking actions such as expanding public transit and installing energy efficient technology like electric heat pumps. Mr. Drummer, how does making investments in people through safe energy systems and people benefit climate justice and energy security? Uh, one of the exciting things uh, from the uh, Inflation Reduction Act are the domestic content requirements. Uh, and so uh, private capital can receive additional tax credits by paying prevailing wages for the construction of renewable energy and battery storage projects, uh, as well as uh, domestic sourcing of the components for these projects. Um, that's what's exciting about our renewable energy future, which includes batteries. Thank you. We must make massive investments in climate jobs and environmental justice. And frankly, this is a need that is overdue. I believe that we are going to build high-speed rail. We are going to establish bus rapid transit systems in frontline communities. We are going to create green, green social housing running on renewable energy. We are going to win a Green New Deal that will benefit everyone. And let me just say, I cannot wait. Thank you, and I yield back. 